Hi, my name is Greg Corbett, and I'm showing my capstone presentation today. Um, what we got going on here is um, got a Pokédex going on. My son is very into Pokémon at the moment, and so he would always come up to me and tell me about all these things that he's collected in the game, and then he'd have to like pull it up in the actual game and show me his, his collection and stuff. And so I thought, you know what? Let's go ahead and make a Pokédex here, and then we can just hit the collection, and then I know what ones he's got, and it kind of gets him to be involved and talk to me about them, and I can we can see them visually and everything like that. So uh, we have our Pokédex here. Um, you can do some custom searches if you want. So if we wanted to search for like um, I, I don't know Lapras, it's going to bring up Lapras, <clears throat> and we can delete and it's just in real time kind of updates. Um, if you would click on the collection page, there's nothing there because we don't have anything added. So if we go ahead and click on Charmander, it's gonna say that we added him over there. Um, same thing with Squirtle. Um, and then we can go over here and it shows them here in the collection. Um, if they've already been added and we click this, nothing will happen. Um, that's something that I'm gonna work on and bring up a pop-up that says that, you know, this is already in part of your collection. Um, we can go ahead and remove those Pokemon, and then when it comes back, it says that we can add them again. Um, so that's pretty much the basics of it. All the, the features that I'm going to add into it soon are, like I said, that pop-up, and then also um, probably some CSS styling. So when it is added, something happens, whether it grays out or... I don't know, maybe we can make Charmander catch on fire or something like that. Um, but that's essentially what we got going on. Thanks.